Hey guys, get fit, good vibes. You ready for the next workout? Now, thanks to anyone that actually took part and did the last three workouts. Now, as promised, I did say I was going to do shadow boxing. So this is going to be your first round of easy to follow shadow boxing. I'm going to show you the movements. We went over them a couple of times. Maximum effort. You want to lose those calories. You want to burn fat. You want to shed those pounds. Let's go. Welcome back for another workout, get fit good vibes. Now what we're going to do today, I've got a shadow boxing workout for you. Now this is for the people that can't take part when I'm actually using the boxing bag, but still want to get their heart rate up, get their calories burned, work their shoulders and their arms and work on their strikes. It doesn't matter whether or not you're a boxer, it doesn't matter if you're a kickboxer, this type of workout is really good for you. It raises the heart rate level, opens up the lungs, gets you breathing heavy, increases the, the lung capacity. Now how this is going to work today is it's going to be 30 and then 30 rest. Now for our warm up we're going to do two rounds of skipping for two minutes. Now what I'd like you to do is alternate the way you actually move in your feet. You're going to do it twice over. It's going to raise the heart rate, it's going to get the blood flowing, it's going to get the heart pumping. I always use my right foot as my leading foot. This right hand would be the jab, this would be the cross. Use your feet the opposite way, so you lead with your, your left foot, this would be your jab, and that would be your cross. You stand how it's suitable for yourself. The first movement we're gonna focus on, jab, jab, cross. The next one is gonna be short little uppercuts, Right, so movement three is going to be cross, jab, cross, hook. Let's go on to movement four. Uppercut, uppercut, jab, cross. Movement five now. Hook, jab. That's going to be movement five. There, I'll be paying attention to this. We're not going to run through it again, we're just going to get straight into the exercise. Jab, jab, cross, hook. Yep, so this is how it's going to look. Jab, jab, cross, hook. breathing, make sure you're taking enough oxygen to keep it going, you don't want to be out of breath, jump for the spot, right, we're going to do it again, knees up to the front, See, time will stand again. Then again, we do our next two minutes. Now, what we need to do with the shadow boxing, each time you do a move, take a step back, or step to the side, or step forward, change your position, change where you actually are before you actually do the next move. It's going to add to the workout. Move to the side, either side, whichever you want to do. Move to the front. Next two minutes worth of skipping. I'm going to face this way for you this time. Let's go. same pattern that we did last time. So let's get the knees up the front. Keep it going. Keep getting those knees up. Let's keep it moving. Keep 
back. Spot. See if I was needs up the front again. Get him up. Shy so. Ready to kick off the back. As the weeks go by, I'll give you a few more advanced skipping moves. Ready for the exercise now. Shadow boxing workout. Let's go, let's get it started. Move. Move again. Step forwards. To the side. That's it, easy, 30 seconds gone. Next one now, it's gonna be the uppercuts. Let's keep it moving. Five left for your rest time, and then you're gonna go on to the uppercuts. Race yourself, here we go. Next exercise now. You ready? Remember I want you to move. So it's going to be cross, jab, cross, hook, to the side, cross, jab, cross, hook, side, step forwards, cross, jab, cross, hook, step back, jab, cross, hook, side, cross, jab, cross, hook, step forwards, jab, cross, hook, step back, one more time, nice and quick, that's it, let's take a breather, get it out, move up forward, it's going to be two uppercuts, with a jab, and a cross, One, two, three, four. Next movement. Cross, hook, duck, cross, jab. On the side here, while you're waiting, while you're having your rest time. So it's cross, hook, cross, jab. Just move on five. Ready to go. So it's cross, hook, Cross, jab. Next 
That's it, 30 second rest. Right, next movement now is going to be movement six, which is going to be jab, cross, duck, jab, left hook this time. Right, movement six now. Let's go. Jab, cross, duck, jab, left hook. Jab, cross, jab, hook. Let's go again. Jab, cross, jab, hook. Jab, cross, jab, hook. Let's do it one more time. Jab, cross, jab, hook. Next movement now is going to be movement seven. It's going to be jab, jab, cross back to the right hook. We've got 10 left here. Rest time. We'll go on to the next movement. Ready, let's go. Two. One, two, three, four. Move to the side. One, two, three, four. Back, move forwards. One, two, three, four. Now, jab, jab, cross, hook, say, jab, jab, cross, hook, back, jab, jab, cross, hook. Let's start, 10 seconds left of your rest time. Let's keep it going, heart rate should be up. rest. Next movement, so we knee up, lunge back, knee up, lunge back. You do that for the first 15 and then for the other 15 you're going to change your leg and start with the right knee up first. So it's up, let's go. So it's like you're about to jump in the air. We'll do the hurdles, shall I say. Keep it going. It's 15. You're going to change at the side. Walk it out from the spot. That's it, 30 seconds gone. Back to round one for the shallow boxing. Jab, jab, cross. Right, one more time. The next movement is going to be uppercuts. So, what you need to do that four uppercuts and then move position and do it again. Let's go. One, two, three, four. So, sorry. One, two, three, four. Forwards. 
that's that. Next movement, cross, jab, cross, duck, hook. Just want to focus on actually how you do the moves. If you make a step mistake in between, doesn't matter, just pick up where you left off. That's the next movement. It's going to be cross, jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, cross, hook, from the front, cross, jab, cross, hook. Next movement, two uppercuts, jab, and across. Let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Next movement, cross, hook, duck, cross, jab. Now this is to make up for how you see me move on the boxing bag. So you can actually keep up and take part with the moves. Right, cross, hook, duck, cross, jab. Step forward, cross, hook, duck, cross, jab. One more time. Cross, hook, duck, cross, jab. Yep. On to movement six now. You've got two more movements to do in the shadow boxing. And you're going to go back onto the exercise movements. Yep, let's keep it moving. Let's the heart rate. Let's get it done. Ready? Jab, cross, duck, jab, hook. Jab, cross, jab, hook. To say, jab, cross, jab, hook. That's it. Ready for the next move. Side, cross, hook, back, jab, cross, hook, step forwards. Run through the shadow boxing one more time, and that's going to be the end of the workout. As time goes by, you'll probably get a little bit more advanced. Well, this is just to help you along for those people that ain't got the boxing bag. Right, let's go. Knee up, lunge back. That's it. And change knee. Next one is going to be run on the spot, and then we finish round two. We're going to do it one more time over. The so next exercise now, let's go.
up. I'm going to go on to the next round now. We're going to run through all those exercises again. What are we going to do this time? We're going to go reverse. So we're going to start with exercise move seven and run our way back up to the top. All right, so go. Jab, jab, cross, hook. Step to the side. Jab, jab, cross, hook. Listen, so I'm calling them out as well, so if you can't actually see the screen, you actually know what moves and what's next. Right, so we'll be on to movement six now. Mm -hmm. That's how Jab, cross, jab, left hook. Keep moving, jab, cross, hook, jab, hook, and then slightly over that 30 seconds. Now, 30 second breather from now. 10 left of your breather. So, you can start with that left hand this time. Ready? Let's go. It's cross, hook, down, cross, jab. Step to the side, cross, hook, duck down, cross, jab. Exercise movement four. Remember, we're going reverse this time for the last round. So it's uppercut times two, jab, and then cross. One more time. One, two, three. To the next movement, cross, jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, cross, down, right hook. Let's see, next movement is going to be the uppercuts, so I want to do four uppercuts. Step to the side, another four up cuts, step back, another four up cuts, and keep your movement like that. So we're gonna start facing you guys. Now we're back onto the movement one now. Jab, jab, look cross. Five left to your rest time now. Right, let's go again. Jab, jab, cross, jab. Jab, jab, cross. That's it. That's your shadow boxing workout for today. This is my workout vlog, guide you through your workouts so you can get yourself nice and ripped, pack on the muscle that you want to pack on, increase the stamina levels that you might have already, and also trim and shed those pounds. So this is the workout that I would have done for today. Prior to today, I've done a few bouts of skipping and also on the treadmill. Now what I've done on the treadmill was, again, interval training. So you run for two minutes, you have if you walk for a minute which is your rest time and 12 rounds of that for the running the same thing with the, with the skipping 12 rounds skip for two minutes and have my one minute break and then again skip for two minutes one minute break 12 times over so i do my cardio three times per week at the minute and then in between i'll leave the boxing bag i'll do a few push-ups but this shadow boxing workout is just to help you guys along those people that haven't actually got the boxing bag I did promise you I'd get a shadow boxing workout done for you when time goes on you'll get a little bit better you'll sharpen up the movements they'll get a little bit quicker you'll add more moves to each exercise but for now this is your first shadow boxing exercise 
get the good vibes. I hope you like that workout.